Hey y'all and welcome to Politibrawl. My name is Brian and Kaylee McEnany makes a complete fool out of Chris Cuomo on his own show. This Did Russia president, interfere in the election? There was no collusion. Was there Did collusion, Did Russia Chris? interfere in the election? It's a was yes, no collusion? question. You're very smart. You can answer. Was there collusion? Did they interfere? Well, answer my question first. Yes. Was there collusion? The answer is yes. And here's False. why. Collusion is a behavior, Mueller. not a crime. You learned that in law school. And here's what they did. This president went out there stoking their efforts. His son took a meeting he should have never taken. It was beyond the line of stupid. And he went conspiracy to that meeting with two people here. who knew better. Lies no conspiracy the theory. They went to the meeting. It's collusive behavior. Was it a crime? No. And there I never no said collusion. it was. And I said it was there good was no news that it wasn't. But they interfered and you can't even mention it. You he talks about a Vladimir Putin as a guy who should be in the G7, years. and he fights with our allies about it. He stands next to him on the national, actually the world stage, and says he takes his word for it against his own intel Chris, agencies. You continue to play up the Russia collusion conspiracy theory. You guys lied well, about I, the president. I never in mentioned 16. any kind of collusion. He won on November conspiracy. 8th, 2016, and he's going to I win again. I never said that he shouldn't he's going have won. To win again. I never said that his his election was not what it was. He won you moved the election. On from I Russia say it all the time. But I'm going to ask never... you this one more time. Kaylee McEnany, do you believe this president has ever lied to the American no, people? No. I don't believe the president <laughs> wow. has lied. I believe the fake news media. Do you, you believe the blew fake my news IFB media? Right has out of lied. my head. Do you believe the fake news media has Interview's lied? Interview's over, Kaylee. Please, the if you can't admit that this president has lied to the American people, you will not the have credibility fake news with the audience. Media lies, You've got a long way to go, Kaylee. What a scumbag move. Uh, just forget the condescension for a moment. Th this is what makes me so mad in this video and why I cannot believe what I'm hearing. Cuomo has moved the goalpost not once, not twice, but four times during this minute and a half segment. This is a scumbag move. Moving the goalpost is something that midwits and morons do. And it's about to get even worse for him. Look, listen, when a president is telling the American people every day not to believe in a free press, that they're the enemy of the state, he and he lies about the allies at G7 saying any, what we really want to know is why your media hates the country, he is he, to blame for he just sowing did the a seeds 40 of division. Minute press avail and he lies in 90 degree weather. All that, so what? The president gives access and you lie about everything he says and take him out of context I have and the never people are frustrated. I lied about this president the people are in frustrated. my life. You may not like what I say. That doesn't make it a lie. He lies all the time and you know it. Go and watch if you your don't last own it, hour. They won't listen Stephanie to you as Grisham well. Taking out of context and putting one story with another you show me to try what to make I lied about, it Kaylee. seem as if the president you lied you, and Stephanie you lied and it was not true. You show me lying about this president and I'll give you a prize. You admit the truth about him, I'll give you two prizes. But you're still welcome on the show. I don't although need you any have, prizes you may from have hurt the fake me. news media. You may have hurt me tonight in inviting you back because if you can't admit that he lied, these people are never going to believe you about anything. I think you anything. should take a look in the mirror, All right? Chris. There is a ton to unpack here. Chris Cuomo, first off, lied, <laughs> lied to his viewers, not by directly, but by omission. And that's what the media is king at doing. The mainstream media lies by omission. They lied about the, uh, let's see, what was it? The, the uh, bloodbath controversy. Donald Trump never said that. He was talking about a niche industry that was going to be basically destroyed if he's not going, if he doesn't become president. They lied about that because they didn't give the full context. And even when they did, they were talking about, uh, they, they extrapolated that data to everything else and saying that Donald Trump is the worst thing that has ever happened in this country. These people are delusional, they are lying to you, and they are trying to get you to hate someone who is going to be a better option than Joe Biden. These people are mental. So the question is, why? Why does the mainstream media do this? Why do they sit there and allow conservatives to come on, hate on them, and then say something along the lines of, oh, what was it, the, you won't have credibility with my audience? Well, that's inherently the problem. Their audience is full of midwits. They're full of these rich white liberals who are quite literally the dominant class. What the ruling class has figured out is if you can control the dominant class, the ruling class can do whatever it wants. Mark's got one thing right. It, it, a lot of history is class struggle, but it's not about the rich and the poor. It's the uh, nobility, the ruling class, trying to, make, trying to either be king or trying to control everyone else. That's a lot of history in a nutshell. And that might trigger some people, even on the right. But the truth is, if you want to trigger liberals in your life, go over to my friends at basebuy.shop, link in the description below, and show the world how conservative you really are. 
So Kaylee McEnany is put in an impossible position. She is in literally literal enemy territory trying to hold down the fort. She's under siege. She commands herself very well. There's a reason why she used to be the press secretary. But Cuomo is lying by omission to his audience, feeding them garbage. It's like the it's like seed oils for your mind. And yes, seed oils are terrible. They're the reason why so many of us are overweight. They're, they're half the reason I've got a dad bod. And ultimately, the media has to do this in order to keep the dominant class from questioning things. That's just the reality of the situation. So granted, while Cuomo is between a rock and a hard place, I can't forgive him for his ridiculous condescension and borderline uh, misogyny, which his brother's famous for, and he tried to cover for him. So that's, that's no surprise here. Remember, always hold leftists to their own standards. So Kaylee McEnany does a great job in holding down the four. But remember, the left controls the mainstream media. They will lie by omission, and they do it because they're terrified of what happens when ivory tower liberals and rich white people start to question things. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed this segment here on Politibrawl. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. And until then, y'all have a good one.